Running a speech more than I've ever seen you officially place my joint enterprises. This is not just an agriculture farm, not just a fish farm, but this is an aquaponic farm. You maybe want you want to know what an aquaponic farm is. An aquaponic is a combination of hydroponic and aquaculture. Hydroponic, when you're talking about hydroponic, you're talking about the soilless growing of crops. Aquaculture is the rearing of fish in a controlled environment. These two makes up an aquaponic farm. And this one Yeah, my name is Fritch Mondog and I'm the CEO of Fritch Quest Nigeria Enterprises. This is not just an agriculture farm, not just a fish farm, but this is an aquaponic farm. You maybe want you want to know what an aquaponic farm is. An aquaponic is a combination of hydroponic and aquaculture. Hydroponic. When you're talking about hydroponic, you're talking about the soilless growing of crops. Aquaculture is the rearing of fish in a controlled environment. These two make up an aquaponic farm. And this is what we have here. Thank you. Um, and do you think it's a good venture in Nigeria? Yeah. And do you think um, you can easily make good profit from it? Because we learned that it's tedious, you spend more money on fuel, it's not economical. Can you tell us why you venture into something like something huge as this? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> um, we, the youth of this country, are trying to take agriculture to the next level. Now, I'm talking about aquaponic being expensive. Generally, yes, it is expensive. But when you look at it, is the best mm. in terms of agriculture, mm. in terms of growing of crops. Mm. Like what we have here, we have a capacity of 50,000 fish wow. in this farm. Mm. Then in terms of crops, we have more than 10,000 capacity, which wow. means we can grow 10,000 crops in this farm. Wow. So if you look at it, we're trying to we're trying to um, cut cost at all mm. ramification, and that's why we need the best in the game, mm. and that's why we went to Despise Agro Company. Thank you. 
because when you have a farm like this you have to look for a way to minimize cost and the cost we're talking about here is not just cost of oil mm. we're talking about cost of the fish feed what we give for the fish is what we get now if you look at the environment of this country mm. you understand that what we give to our fish we don't even know what we give exactly. to them they tell you exactly. you have for the five percent protein but if you look into to, to what they're telling you you understand that what you have there is even lesser than what they are telling you that is it so we need the best in the game and that is why the only fish meal production company that i can work with which is b spice agro company i trust them and what we have here you can see for yourself that we have done well to cut our cost so that aspect of fish feed production is out of it exactly. so we have the best thank you so much thank you so much and like the manager here said he said this farm there's no waste on this farm there's no waste the water that is coming from the fish is channeled back into the uh, those things to power the, the crops so there's no waste and um, actually they contacted us online we never saw before they contacted us online and boom we started the, the operation and here it is the, the success and I can assure you with this machine that you have on your farm now, you can reduce cost by 40% and you'll be sure of the quality of what you are producing. Now we produce some feeds up, uh, over there now. We know the quantity of protein, the quantity of carbohydrate. You know, with that, you can control cost. And sometimes I can even do rotation and uh, maintenance feeding. Reduce your cost to the barest minimum. So Mr. Richmond, we really appreciate your business. We really appreciate the way you um, handle this um, uh, business very maturely and uh, we hope that you always be part of this farm and always bring more growth to this farm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you have anything you still want to say? Yeah, um, <coughs> you just made mention of what I really love, that we don't waste anything here. Mm. Now, I would like to throw more light on that before we run this off. If you look at it very well, aquaponic is not something that is common in this area of the country. South Africa and Europe. Exactly. Now, the fish produce this waste called ammonia. We have bacteria. Mm -hmm. The bacteria mm -hmm. converts this ammonia to nitrite, nitrite. from nitrite to nitrates. Nitrate. Exactly. Now, this plant that we have here, mm -hmm. if you look at it, we, we're still working on this. These are the pots for the plant. Right. Exactly. This plant take up this nitrate. Mm -hmm and they use it to grow. In turn, the fish help the plant to grow. to grow. The plant clears the water for the fish to grow effectively. Mm -hmm. So if we encounter, uh, like maybe we have beds of fish, mm -hmm. we take them to our dryer, we use them as fish meal to produce feed. Yes. That is it. No like this we don't waste water so this is a very very exactly. innovative thinking you understand yeah. so i think we should all should learn from mr richmond this is great i've not seen aquaponics before in nigeria yeah. this is the first time i'm seeing it so i can i should give a big kudos to him you understand so this is huge so if you want his contact just message us we'll send the contact down to you so he can put you through if you really want to go into aquaponics you understand thank you so much thank you thank, thank you, you mr peace Spice. thank you so much i appreciate it, it. thank you my name is Richard Quest, located at Services Farm. All right. Um, situated at the Sierra Cruz, Delta State. Thank you. 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 Something unique because we see it to be something very, very unique. So please, we'd like you to enlighten us more. It is unique in the way that you can do your planting. You can do your planting here. So the, the, the water that is coming out of here can still be channeled back. Yes, that's one of the good things about this. So there's no waste. There's no waste. That is it. There's no waste. So how have you, how do you think our involvement in this uh, project has been to your farm, to this uh, 
great um, what's called great invention. Great request. Then your involvement here has been of great benefit. Now we are trying to find out how we can reduce costs on our feet. With your machines here now, so we can make an impact. So I think it's a reduction. We should further boost our production. We are really happy to even be on this project with you too, guys. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir.